welcome, welcome everybody. Cool Cat Terry here for another stream. It is Friday, everybody. And today I have uh, four games that I had picked out that I would like to review. They looked really, really interesting to me, so I really wanted to give them a try. So I'm going to go ahead and showcase them today on my stream. You guys can check them out. And if you like them, please, please support the developers that created these games. And go and pick them up. These are all available to you on Steam. So we have two games that I'm going to start off with that are from the same uh, developer. Now, the first one is called Escape Close Call. Now, both these games are created by Tarbush Games. And they're both car related. So that's what really got my interest. I love car games. I love racing. Things like that. So that's what got me interested. And being that they were, they had this top-down look, it made me really feel remembering the old retro games I used to play with when I was younger. All right. So that's why I wanted to check these out and see how they and see how they do. All right. So let's go ahead. So the first one, Escape Close Call. You can go ahead and get this on Steam. Let me get the cost here for you all for those that are interested. All right, this one is $6.99, so just for $7, you can pick this one up on Steam. It has full controller support. It also has, it's a single player game. All right, so go ahead and check this one out. Let me dive on in. This one looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It really does. So let's, let's go do this, check it out. Let's check, why don't we still here talking about it? Let's actually play the day in game, shall we? Let's do this thing. I'm gonna use my game pad, to see how the controls are. I feel that a lot of people that test games and do reviews are true PC gamers, and so they only do keyboard and mouse. Oh, it's loud. So there aren't enough that actually test the gamepad settings to make sure they're actually really good and functional. So I'm gonna do that. I'm digging the music. Definitely has that. I like it. Rage Mafia drop is a host. Thank you so much. Oh! Oh my! This makes me happy. I actually have, you know, an actual sliding, sliding bar. Thank you. Thank you so much for putting this in. All right, for those that do not know, when it comes to indie games, a lot of the times they don't have a sliding bar when it comes to sound. They'll just have a button for sound. You click it on, click it off, that's it. It's just, a, you can either have full volume or a mute. And I hate that so much. I hate that so much. Everybody has different volume settings defaulted for their computers. And for me, I have my stuff here probably at like 25%. And a lot of these games will be crazy loud for me. Crazy loud, I'm literally at 25%, all right? Jesus. So it gets really, really loud and I have to like turn all my stuff down. Now, so I'm happy. I'm happy to see it has the sliding bar and they divided the sound up too. This is another really important thing. Some indie games will just combine all the sound, sound effects, dialogue, any, anything and everything that they have into one button and you can just either have it on or have it muted. So I'm grateful to see we have two separate bars here that I can actually adjust. That makes me happy. I'm going to turn this one down because it is loud. I don't know what this one is. I don't know if this is gonna be like a voice chat thing or if this is for sound effects. Like maybe this one's the music clearly and maybe this one's sound effects. I don't know. I'm gonna just turn it down just in case. Uh, I also like to have, they have a window mode option. We have languages. This is all good. This is good to see, okay? They don't need to make the settings overly complicated. They can keep it simple like this. They have the main things that I wanna see. That go very, very high though. So once I changed the quality to high from default, it instantly got lost by OBS. So that's interesting. Let me see if we can get it back. Will you come back? Cause it was working fine until I changed the quality set, and then it disappeared. That's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Either a game will get tracked or it won't get tracked by game capture. I've never seen one 
tracking and then stop as soon as you change a quality setting before because the EXC is still the same. The fact that that happened is kind of weird. Now if I go back to default, will it come back? It does. Look at that. So if I go back to default, it comes back. But if I go to high, will it stay? No, it's no longer tracking it. It's like frozen. That's really strange. All right, well then, I'm gonna do it on default then, just so you guys can actually see it. That is crazy. All right, so the note to the developer, if you end up reviewing this, that is weird that if I change the default setting up to, to high, OBS doesn't track it. I mean, this isn't gonna be a feature that you're really gonna need for the average gamer, but you're probably going to have a lot of content creators reviewing your game to try to get more people to buy and play your game. So that that's just a weird setting. A weird setting. All right. All right. Well, let's. I'm gonna keep it in default then. Hit apply. Good. Close that. One of his games. He wanted me to play in a specific game mode, and I wasn't thinking, and I accidentally deleted the email. And it had directions on how to do it. And I don't know if it was for this game or if it was for the other game. So hopefully there will just be an easy option to do that. Also, Nana, my friend, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? So what is this? Like, I can see the logo and then it goes away. What is the point of that? What is that? We have the tutorial, use all power-ups, crash a thousand, spawn, perform, go through shortcuts. I guess once I do all these things, these ones here are going to open up to me. Let's go back to the tutorial. Did I pass it? Where was the tutorial? There it is. Here we go. You're doing good, Nana. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna stop using the keyboard here because I said I was gonna try to use the controller. All right, let's do the tutorial. And this is as far as I got, and then my PC had crashed. So lesson one, turning. Turn the car using the analog stick. Alternatively, you can use eight of your keys, right bumpers, and all that good stuff. Ball stream coming in with the host. Thank you so very much. Drive around the first stage to pass this lesson. All right, so I'm gonna learn how to drive. Oh, I hit a fence. Am I just doing a lap or what? I tried using the D-pad. D-pad does not work. Definitely just the analog. Once you get the hang of the sensitivity, it's not so bad. Okay. You can go all crazy. There we go. All right. More turning, so that's done. And lesson two. Nearly avoid crashing into an enemy vehicle to earn a close call. All right. There we got it. Okay, the sound effects are still a bit loud, so I'll have to turn that stuff down some more. Short standoff. Press the A button to perform a standoff. Alternatively, you can press the AD keys or bumper keys. Starting a standoff while turning grants extra control. Okay, this is what the developer had mentioned. The developer had sent me an email stating that standoff was his favorite way to play the game. So being that I'm doing gamepad, I just have to press the A button. 
Oh, I see. It does like a slow motion. Oh, that's pretty badass. Rock out to it. And then the music stops when I stop it. Ah, oh, that's cool. Woo! Beauty Gamer's dropping the host here as well. One more lesson, and then we'll move on. Long standoffs. And now you have a new car, because we completed that. All right, I don't think we, I think we can just wing it. You don't need to do the rest of the tutorials. We're just gonna have some fun. I'm gonna grab my mouse, it'll be a little easier. Turn that down, but for some reason it went back up. Hit apply. Okay, for some reason I turned that down and it cranked it back up. Alright. Alright, so we have to escape the police! Ten minutes earlier. Stand off three times, run over a zombie, and make five police cars crash. That's my objective. And the average time people do this is in one minute. That's pretty fast. Whoops. I didn't want to hit him. Pepperoni! Well, I died. <laughs> Definitely didn't want to do that. Where's the zombie? Darn it! I didn't want to attack! Ah, oh, darn it. I accidentally hit him. Where's a zombie? I don't see a zombie. All I need is a zombie! Oh crud. I don't see the zombie. Where do I find the zombie? Where do I find the zombie? Like I'm trying to find a zombie. I don't see nobody walking around or anything. Whoops. Huh. I don't see any zombies. None. But at least it tracks my progress. Oops. Oh, rip me! Man, the game is cool, but I can't finish the objective. There's no zombie anywhere in my game. How's I able to go through the water? There's no zombie! There's definitely no zombies in my game. I cannot see anything except for the cop cars and then, you know, just regular items. That makes no sense to me. Hmm. There were definitely no zombies. 
definitely was no zombies in this game. Now I can't proceed forward until I find said zombie. Proceed, but I can't proceed until I find the zombie that doesn't exist. Maybe I gotta do the tutorial. Maybe there's something specific I need to do to get the zombie? If I don't see anybody walking around. No zombies. man there's no zombies hmm let me check the tutorial and see if there's something specific I need to do to get a zombie matador close calls power-ups to open the power-up menu press the Y button power-ups need to be unlocked in the store Under calls are performed when you pass under an enemy vehicle flipping the air. Zombies spawn randomly when enemy vehicles are destroyed. Zombies grant a lot of points. Raise the multiplayer combo, so collect two zombies to pass. So they so they spawn random when they die. So I gotta get these cops to die to get the zombie. Okay. Hey Waka, how's it going, my friends? I need a zombie! Here we go. Got it! Alright, so we completed that. It should just continue, right? Would I get to go on to the next mission or something? Last for at least 20 seconds. I've done all of these. Do I have to do them all over again? I got, they should have like an explanation of what this stuff is. Oh, maybe if I click it. Increases time before fuel runs out. Fence breaker, break through blue fences at night. To unlock stage two. Okay then. Different flags for your vehicle. Okay. Novelty stuff. Brains attract zombies to your car. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Decoy traps. Ghosts. What? He goes invisible. Snail. He looks like he's going really, really fast. Oh, but it slows everybody else down. Okay. Increase number of enemy cars. Recycling. Zombies grant fuel instead of points. Yeah. Interesting stuff. Too long. I held it too long. Oh, it's sticks, man! I got it, but then the other guy came there. Okay, hold on. One more close call, and we're done. Okay. That one's a lot easier to do. Oh, crap. Oh, crap! Don't do that! <laughs> Ah, oh, I wanted to skid right past him, not him head on. Oops. Fight 
matchsticks. I'm really good at hitting things, clearly. Ah, uh, blast. Well, I got the close call. Okay, so then it just continues on, I'm guessing. Gain a thousand points in one run, run over three zombies, and go through a shortcut. so that the uh, zombie will spawn and I'm crashing into them instead. Or hitting buildings, because that's helpful. The zombie right there! Ah! Oh! Dang it! <laughs> well, I got one, but I need to get three. zombie challenge. I got the thousand point challenge done. No! I'm gonna get it, dang it! Come on, hit each other! Beautiful! Difficult to get three zombies, man. I'm struggling. Yeah, that one's gonna have a zombie. It turned green, I saw it. There he is. There's one. Oh, I ran out of time again? We're out of fuel before I can get three zombies. Even if I hit something and I'm not moving, it still eats up my fuel. Fun. It's hard, but it's fun. Break through a fence. I don't have a power up for that shit. Spawn 15 zombies. I don't have the power up to break through the fence. Oh, Jesus. Shit's about to get really difficult. Oh, come on now. Ah, oh, rip. But anyways, this is what it is. Basically, you just gotta do the different objectives, and as you complete certain things, 
then you can unlock different cars. That's what I need to get all the power-ups for. If I do a thousand car crashes, I get this car. The more zombies, I get a truck. So basically, the more things you do, the more vehicles you can get. And that limo, I think, would be very difficult because you're not now you're in a bus. You're making yourself a bigger target. Your hitbox, man. You have all these different vehicles. It could be an ice cream truck. Love it. This game is actually fun. I do like it. It's just very, very difficult. The thing I don't like is that this game is single player. This will be a fun party game. You know, this will be a very fun party game. If I could go against a friend, and either be like a cop and the friend tries to escape and you try to take them out or vice versa or they could make it to or if they did something where uh you have to you know you, friend one goes and then friend two goes and whoever has the most points in the in the least amount of time or whatever wins or something you know something Something where you can play cooperatively with a friend or against a friend i think would be a lot of fun the game is cool. I do like it. It's just... For a single player game, this one's not gonna hold my attention for very long. And... That's gonna be an issue for this game, is you want... When you play a single player game, you want it to pull you in and keep you distracted and have fun for long periods of time. And this is a game that I'm going to, you know, kind of get bored with after like 20 minutes. So they definitely should make this more of a uh, friend party kind of game. Make sure it has online though. I hate how games today, they, they make them local. Local should be dead. Okay, how many people do you know, you, do you go over to your buddy's house to play a video game? Okay, the, the age of that is dead. That, that's, that stopped happening over 20 years ago. All right, but no more. No more with this local stuff. Make it online, have a friend, hop into your game, and let's have some fun. You know what I mean? This is a great game for that. They do, you know? So if, if they want to make this more successful, in my opinion, they need to add a multiplayer or cooperative aspect where you can play online with other people. For sure. Because, yeah, I'm not going to play this game long enough to un even unlock these cars. I probably won't even unlock the second car because that's how, li that's, you know what I mean? It's not going to hold my interest. It's fun, but it doesn't hold my interest. And that's the biggest problem with the game. It has to hold your interest. You want to come back and want to play it again. And I don't want to play this by myself. I want I want to play this against a friend. I do. So that's that. I'm going to move on to the next one. Move on to the next one. I don't see a quit. A power button in the corner. Aha! That's the quit option. That's escape close call. It is interesting. I'll give it that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the next game, which is made by the same developer. All right, same developer. Let me remove this from my review list because I don't want to be there. To see if they did something better along the lines that I was saying or not. Go under games and demos for this one because I looked up the different names for it and I can't find it anywhere on Twitch. This one's DCR, which stands for Drive Crash Repeat. It's gonna be along the same lines of the other one, I'm guessing, but hopefully this one has a bit more going on. About to find out at least. Okay, our boosh games. Here we go again. Drive, crash, repeat. Here we go. Check the settings on this damn thing. Can't even see my cursor. Oh, can I use can I use the you gotta use the arrow keys. Okay. Want things to be too loud. Scan lines, resolution. So that just flips it to the different window modes until I hit full screen. I don't like the way that's set up. That's, that's weird. Languages on English. Oh, I hit back. I can't get to the back button. 
Maybe escape? Escape, okay. Timing is key, so escape is back. Car shop, it looks like that would be the tab key. Worlds are numbers. Enter is play. The king has arrived. Give us a left here. Hey king, welcome, welcome. Is someone made a taxi cab? I don't know what the object of the game is. Practice makes perfect. Press space to do something. Got some in a driving course. I'm gonna get my driver's license, everybody! I missed the battery in the gem. The gem was literally where I started. They had it behind me. What kind of BS is that? Sound effects are good. Oh, crap. I see the battery. I'm not gonna get it though. Oh, what? A cardboard box totals out my car? Watch this. Okay, they made this one a lot harder. Watch me, watch what me, the frick? Blaze dropping the host. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. I'm gonna rage on this. Fudge and fudge, fudge, fudge. Turn ya, piece of fudge sticks. It just wants to slide the one way. It doesn't want to turn the other direction. Oh, gosh, damn. Hey, Blaze! Fuck this, man. I can't even get there, goddamn bar. Fuck you, dude! I'm just gonna shove the goddamn- Fuck! I was like, the hell with avoiding it, I'll just shove to the damn finish line. Ah! There's no way that tippy tap is gonna destroy my car! Fuck! Hey, this game is definitely gonna bring out the rage in me. Fudge! Controls, man. I'm, it's like I'm on fucking ice. Oh! Then it speeds you up. I need to go any faster. I need to go slower. Fudge! Okay, now I know what the ghost car is. I don't really need to see where I died before. Oh, what the fuck did I hit there? Oh, you know what? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Well, yeah, I can't, I can't even get to the finish line on that one. But I'm good. I'm really good, Blaze. I hope you had a good day. I'm gonna try to get through a couple indie games quick, and then I'm gonna play some Elder Scrolls Online. And it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome fun. So if you wanna play along with King and Me again, Blaze, you're more than welcome to. I'm turning this game off before I throw a tantrum. This is definitely a hard ass game. They were not lying. Literally on their wallpaper, it says the, hard the, har the hardest driving game. <laughs> it's hard! They not joking. There you go. That was that one. I mean, if you if you have the patience to perfect that, by all means, go ahead and get that game. That game is definitely going to make me rage, so I need to get out of there before that happens.